hi guys so today i wanted to make a quick video um about how i ship or rather my shipping station i've just started my small business and i'm still learning the ropes but i decided to put up this shipping station for my boxes for my shipping boxes i got some free boxes from usps some free envelopes and uh some other box sizes because i will be using sps usps to ship i also got a bunch of other small boxes from uline some six by five by three some four by four by four some five by three by four so since i'm starting out i was not really sure about the right box sizes to buy so i just bought like random sizes i bought a few like 25 of each size so once i start to ship i'll know which boxes are good for which product and you know uh, i won't be as confused as i as i was when i was buying these ones i also got some labels i have uh, this handle with care fragile labels from usps i got these ones for free you just go to their website and then um <clears throat> Order them. I'm not exactly sure if um, the, the, I'm not. I'm not sure how many you can get. I think like two. Let me see. Yeah, I got two. I think you can only order two at a time. I also got this big shipping priority mail label to use on the boxes that are not marked USPS. The USPS boxes are already marked. The USPS has a range of uh, box sizes. We have the flat rate, like this one is the flat rate box. Uh, you can ship it for a flat rate fee anyway. So I got these. And this is the, yeah, this is the small size. So this can, can, can uh, ship soap, which is, you know, uh, which is fine by me. So this is how they come. They have like this adhesive liner that you have to um, you have to remove this white top layer, and then you will expose the adhesive and then use that to um, to seal your box. I also got a bunch of these envelopes. These are the flat rate envelope. So here I got these. Um, I don't know what to call them. I don't know whether to call them boxes or containers, but they are very practical. They have this small opening here and uh, and a bigger, a bigger one. So you just stack them. There's three here bought three from ikea so i'll stack them and the first one i have uh, some bubble mailers some of the usps envelopes and i have some um some uh, polythene bags for packaging that's on the top um, container on the second one i have some tissue some packing tissue here And then on the last one, I have some packing cushioning. I'll put the name of the cushioning that I'll be using on the screen. I don't really don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know. It's called Excelsior. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> English is my third language, so you have to forgive me. So yeah, right next to the containers, I have my uh, shipping label printer. I got this on Amazon and I got the labels also I also use this to print labels for the products I have a smaller printer here I've had this for about five years I think I used it uh, for my uh, other projects so it has come in handy again this is the Dymo label writer 450 tab. and of course I have a LaserJet Pro printer so I was gifted this printer by uh, my husband recently so um i haven't yet used it but i'm thinking of using it to print labels and receipts 
so down here on the bottom shelf i just i'm putting i'm storing the extra labels that i have and in here in this black um basket plastic basket <laughs> i have my stamps and envelopes and uh, ink pad uh, that i use for packing my thank you cards and sealing so these are my thank you cards that i'll be using for you know for for thanking my customers for buy for, for buying from me i have my pens and pencils and sticky notes and then in, in this other metal basket i have um ceiling cape so yeah guys that's it that's all i have for now um i i'm done i set this up a few days ago and i just wanted to show you how it looks like and um how i'll be packing the stuff so it's much easier if i put them this way it's much easier for me to reach for a box reach for some tissue for the cushioning and then i have a foldable table that i'll put in front of the rack here ready for packing and shipping so thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe if you have any questions so far let me know and i think the big takeaway from this video is that you can get free shipping boxes from usps the only catch is i think you have to sh use them to um ship well if you get the boxes you have to use um usps to ship your products which is fine by me really i have no problem shipping with usps so that's it for now thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.